They're the abandoned children of Kazakhstan's nuclear zone, twisted by genetic disorders blamed on this country's terrifying atomic past. The doctor at this orphanage told me decades of Soviet nuclear testing unleashed a plague of birth defects. For more than 10 years, the detonations were above ground and contamination from hundreds of Cold War era explosions keeps on killing. When the Soviet Union tested its nuclear devices, it chose one of its remotest, most desolate areas. But there were still people living here. And today, in villages like this one, close to the testing zone, many are feeling the terrible effects. Sarik Kaisha is 62 years old and remembers watching the mushroom clouds as a child. <laughs> We were very frightened, she told me, because the windows in our house would blow out and the walls would shake. My parents both died of cancer and my own son is handicapped, she says. And Seri Kasha isn't alone. Almost every family in her village, 20 miles from the old test site, is affected. I was introduced to Bikan by a local doctor, one of the few residents who agreed to be interviewed. She was born in 1951, two years after the nuclear testing began. Her facial disfigurement, she says, has left her in despair. If only there had been no bombs, I could have been equal to everyone else, she says. My youngest daughter looks like me too. I worry about her future more than anything. The problem of defects is so big, there's even a museum of mutations at the Regional Medical Institute. Doctors say jar upon jar of preserved fetuses tell this region's real-life horror story. You could call these children and others affected victims of the Cold War. Kazakhstan has refused nuclear ambitions now because it experienced 40 years of this war. Nowhere else were there so many nuclear tests. And nowhere else are so many Cold War casualties still inflicted. Matthew Chance, CNN, Semi, in Kazakhstan.